rather cool outside. Chilly? Even though the sun's out during the day, sometimes it feels really chilly. Yeah, this time of the year, the sun is so not apparent during the daytime because the days are so much shorter. We're actually just 23 days away from the the shortest day of the year and uh, today we had the smog and the haze out there and that was causing uh, more of a breathing problem than anything else. This evening the winds have begun to blow and uh, as they were enjoying the Christmas lights at Hogel Zoo, things started to improve. Breathing, the conditions for breathing, the air quality improving just a little bit today. We've had some snow in Cedar City and the interstate down in I-15. We have had some snow pack conditions from about uh, three or four miles north of Parowan to Cedar City. Uh, this has been uh, one that has provided quite a bit of snow to Boulder Mountain and over towards the Southwest Mountains. We've had quite a bit of snowfall and uh, right now, it's still snowing just to the southwest of Cedar City, but for the most part, this storm has moved away. Let me show you some snow totals, impressive snow totals. How about Midway Valley? Nine inches of snow. Brian Head reporting six inches. Kolob, five inches. Cedar City, 2.3. Bryce Canyon, two inches. We've had wind gusts of 50 miles per hour at Badger Springs and Enterprise 38 miles per hour. And we're also seeing some 30 and 40 mile per hour winds over the West Desert. The winds are ventilating the valleys and helping to clear a little bit of the haze that we've been seeing, the smog and so on and so forth. Across the southern third of Utah, we continue to see some showers and clouds. It's what we call a deformation zone. It's a zone where the clouds are trying to go in two different directions and it caused the snow to fall in Cedar City. It caused the snow over the Southwest Mountains. But in the north, we had 50s for highs in Ogden and 40s in Price. Provo was in the 40s and Springville 46, St. George. A trace of rain, 62 the high there today. 38 in Salt Lake City right now, 31 in Great Falls. Showers and thunderstorms near Phoenix, Arizona. Here's the upper low. It is spinning around near Yuma, Arizona and south of Las Vegas. We've had some thunderstorms in the Las Vegas Valley this evening. And this is the deformation zone. What happens is the low is spinning in this direction. The upper level winds are coming from the northwest and you get this differential direction of wind and that caused the snowstorm over southern Utah kind of a surprise and those lingering showers will continue in the southeastern quadrant of the state near the Four Corners area and along the Arizona Strip during the day on Sunday and then high pressure will build nicely over northern Utah and Monday other than the haze we'll have dry pleasant weather as the work week starts. 39 in Vernal for tomorrow, 50 in Moab, those showers, Blanding, Monticello, over towards Lake Powell, primarily in the morning, but a few of those showers will linger into the afternoon. Brisk northerly winds, 30, even 40, 50 miles per hour in the canyons of southern Utah. That'll continue to bring some problems for travelers as well. Some icy conditions from Cedar City to Parowan due to the snow that fell and is still falling this evening. Breezy for southern Utah tomorrow, 58 in St. George tomorrow, then 50s for the remainder of the week, and hazy conditions along the Wasatch Front, although we've seen enough wind today that the haze and the pollution is probably a little bit better right now than we've seen over the last several days. Still going to put the haze in the forecast. Temperatures around 44 tomorrow, 42 on Monday. Tuesday, 42 with 41 Wednesday. Call it smog by the middle of the week because we're going to mix it in with a little, a little bit of the fog and the fog and the haze is smog like you see in Los Angeles. That'll get better by the end of the week because we have a storm coming in. All right. Thanks, Dan. Thank you.